and in 1952, a mysterious fire started in their home, killing them all. You guys up here? Something's in there. Something's in there. No, that doesn't make any sense. Open up this crate and get this haunted murder mystery started. Okay, so we just finished setting up a bunch of security cameras all around the entire house in case anything else paranormal happens. We are hoping that we end up catching some spooky stuff on film. All right, guys, I'm going to be looking at all the security cameras. We have a ton of them set up around the house and around the area. It's gonna be hard to track every single one, but I'm going to try my best. So, the crate, it's right here, and we actually set up a bunch of different cameras, as you guys can see, because we're going high tech here. We wanna be sure to visualize every possible item in there, and so that you guys can actually see everything. Now, lastly, we have <laughs> our very, very top secret weapon, Shira Crenshaw, which has a little something to say. For those who don't know me, I have a criminology degree. And hopefully with all those hours spent in the classroom and in the labs, I can use the skills that I've learned in school to help us solve this murder mystery case. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so we are all set and finally ready to open the box, who wants to do the honors? Not me. Shut up. I was, I was actually expecting to like fight one nope. of you guys to do it, so yeah, I'm excited. This is Let's easier. crack this guy open. Two. One. One. And open. Oh my god. That is a lot more shallow than I thought. Ten years. Yeah. We got... This is all the evidence we got. Spoiler alert. There's more under here, don't worry. <laughs> All right, so just looking, we have... What does it say? It says... Bromley, family case files, case status open, 041174. So this was the last time that this case was looked at, 1974, and they still couldn't solve it. We did a haunted cold case like this before, and in the case files, they didn't talk about any kind of paranormal things whatsoever, which was one of the reasons why they were unable to solve it. So we're gonna take a look at everything inside the box. We're gonna see if we can make any paranormal connections to the actual case, come up with our own conclusions before reading this. What else do we have? Yeah. <clears throat> what is that? Some like... It's a big earring. It's a an <laughs> ear. Just kidding. They're little Bay Blades. Used to play these in high school. Not high school. In no, high school? Definitely not high school. In this guy <laughs> says high school. Nope. Oh my nope. god. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, really? oh, oh. That's messed up, dude. Hey, you suck. Bro. Sore loser. <laughs> okay, so we do have a letter. And it's all like brown and crumpled. It's also a curse of which, Jesus. Are you gonna be able to read it? <laughs> Been a while since I've read any cursive, so hopefully I can still read this. The letter reads, Hello, Father Adam. We regret to inform you that your wife Jezebel has passed away last night in her sleep due to the flu. Due to I, the Jezebel. flu? Jezebel, I didn't- Who's that? Wife. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. They were, they only told us about Father Adam and three orphans. There was nothing about like any wife, but okay. maybe it's like so irrelevant now to there's like there's a wife. I mean, if it was irrelevant, it wouldn't be in here, right? But yeah. Anyway, so she passed away from the flu. As you know, her symptoms were getting worse and worse, and unfortunately, there was nothing we can do. Funeral preparations could be arranged at any point. May her soul rest in peace, and hopefully, it doesn't affect the kids too much. As we both know, they have gone through enough already. Okay, so it didn't really say anything specific to this case. I'm guessing Father Adam had a wife and she passed away, which is flu. unfortunate. And yet, from the flu, which was extremely common back then. Like, especially if she lived in here, we had to hike so long, right? I can't imagine like a doctor being able yeah. to come here like very yeah, often. Very so let's keep going through and see what's next. We have. Um, certificate of adoption with three names on it, or four, I guess. We have Amelia, we know who that is, Marcus, and Jonathan. And then there's someone down here who signed it called Adam. Yeah, this Father is... Adam. So it's just the, the, the certificate of them being adopted. Director, please. <laughs> 
Thank you, sir. Pro mm -hmm. My producer got me uh, another mm -hmm. uh, knee Hello. thing so that my knees don't break. <laughs> okay, so let's remove this. Jesse, yep. do the oh, honor. Oh, my. And take okay. a look at wow. this. That's crazy. I feel like um, there's a lot going on in here. A lot of like right? burning. It smells, smells like fire. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it yeah. uh, smells like charred, almost like hair. Yeah. Like charred, charred hair. Not like good. You want to dive in, Shira? Oh. The oh first my thing, god. That's the first thing I noticed. That is a gas, gas can. Oh my god, guys. Look, it's like melted. Yeah, look at this. So, not only is it a gas canister, but look. There's burns all the way to like the uh, holes, right? Jesus. Now, that is interesting. I'm no expert, but uh, if I were to guess, I would probably say uh, this caused the fire that yeah. originally burned this house down, right? I would assume so. It could have still been an accident, right? This could have just been at the wrong spot at the wrong or time. It could have been set up. Ooh, that too. All right, so who's next? Who wants to take a dive in? I already got my hand in here, right, so I was gonna say, Michelle, go I'm ahead. gonna just He's pick ready. something random here. We got a, okay. A crucifix. Oh, it looks very it's, nice. it's always, every time we do this, there's always some so sort of like, like thing that yeah. ends up all over the floors, but at least it's not my house this time, so I don't True. have to clean it. Um, well, it's really burnt. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it blackened from like a fire? Does it smell does it like smoky? It, it does smell really smoky. Yeah, it's definitely like burnt a bunch. I don't know if you guys could see it too much on the camera because it's like really, really black, but it's uh, it has gone through some hell. Now, there's one thing I saw that caught my eye. Oh. That. Oh, here. That's gonna be important. We go. I know for a fact. Mm -hmm. so we got a journal. Look at this. It is some type of journal, and it is charred to the max, like burnt to the crisp. It barely here. got out alive. So it seems like it's Adam's father, Adam's journal, okay. and it says. To all my children that seek sanctuary, safety, forgiveness, and most of all, redemption in the name of the Lord, me and my wife Jezebel has opened this orphanage to you. So again with Jezebel, mm -hmm. this is clearly another character that we just don't know of, either irrelevant to this case or maybe very relevant and they didn't think so, but they just overlooked it, maybe. Possibly. I would say anything to do with this journal would automatically be super important. All right, and it also says one more thing, and it is. What does that say? Psalms. A Bible verse. Oh. Okay. One forty-six eight. Does anybody offhand no. Mike. Uh yeah, actually I'm super religious. One sec. Let me just check my memory banks. It's uh. Dude, are you even looking at the cameras? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Like, this Somebody is pretty serious. I, I, I see the chips. Hey, I'm okay. doing my best. And okay. actually, here's the Bible verse. It's set, I mean, according to my brain, it says, The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. Well, it would make sense that he has all of, like, well, we have, like, a cross in the box over here. And then that we have this. Yeah, the Bible verse, like he is a, he's a priest, right? Okay, so I have one question for all of you. What is that? Who likes to read? I think I, I did enough in school. Yeah. Mm. He's on camera. Yeah. Full degree and all. I what are you yeah. trying to say here? Well, this is what I'm thinking, okay? Mike is busy looking at the cameras. Mm -hmm. Shira has a criminology degree. You're the main character. I'm the main character, <laughs> absolutely. And Jesse's our producer. So there's only one guy that's kind of interchangeable here. I don't know, he's he's supposed to show up anytime and now. And it is you. Just look through it, if there's anything interesting, just walkie-talkie us, okay? All right, well, hopefully there's no like passage in here that's gonna get me like all kinds of up. But... <laughs> Have fun, bro. I'll be upstairs. Good luck. All right, Sheriff. 
You're up. Dive in. Okay, we'll see what we get out of this. Okay. The hell? I don't know what it is yet. But, oh, it looks like a chicken. It's a chicken. It's a chicken. It's a chicken. Um, Let's maybe see. it was like some kind of toy? Yeah. It's like... Or something? Weird. Yeah, it kind of looks like a... Like an old <laughs> toy. It's super hard to tell with all this like foam, but you're really taking that everything that's in here is from. It's this is where I was smelling the burnt hair. Really? For sure. Yeah, Ew. that just doesn't smell good. That oh. is okay. Hella so burnt. A chicken. Oh, and what do you got, Nick? We have something spiky. Is that oh. a porcupine? No. What is that? It's like, I think it's- Oh, a like, hedgehog. Yeah, hedgehog. Oh! Like a little hedgehog. It's cute, and it's also like super, super charred, like almost everywhere. It's half its face is kind of ripped off too, which is a little uh, spooky, but also burnt. So these are, they look like toys that somebody I like made so. or something, right? Yeah. And they all survived the fire, which is pretty incredible. There's also, Oh, sorry. Get it's everywhere. just getting absolutely everywhere. Another book. What? What kind of Here, check it out. What do yeah, we got? It's like, I don't know what that is there, but it's definitely burnt. You can see from the pages. Yeah. This, this book barely made it out alive, but. So it has names in it, Jonathan, Marcus, and Amelia, which we know are the orphans. Okay, so it's um, like. So I guess it belonged to all of them? Maybe they shared it. Okay, so I just flipped the page and it has a little paragraph here. It says, to each of my new beautiful children of God, please use this journal as you please. Know that however you express yourself in this book, it will be safe from my eyes, only for God to see. Love, Adam. Okay, that's so a, like a, I would say that's weird. Like, that's kind of sketchy, right? That is right? really yeah, weird. That's very weird. I'm Adam. guessing like a like a diary of some sort, just so they yeah. Could like... Oh my god, I just I honestly thought that was I didn't even see the next page, but uh, Amelia, Amelia wrote in here. Let's see. It's kind of adorable. She oh my god, crayons. like pink crayons. You want to read through it? Amelia wrote, Father Adam took me and two other kids in. I like it here so far. Much better than the last home I was in. The other kids are boys, but they are really nice. Aw. And don't hurt me. Oh. oh. Oh, man, that's rough. I don't like to hear that at all. And then it just says, I'm happy here with a smiley face. So at least we know that she was happy here with the other kids, but. Wherever she the was fact that she, Right? Like, the fact that she was expected you know, or surprised that they weren't hurting her is, is really sad to hear. Now there is a couple other pages in here. One page from Jonathan, one from Marcus, and then another from Amelia, but there's nothing really significant. It just explains Jonathan says that he's the oldest kid here, and his biological parents told him that as an older brother, it's their job to take care of the younger ones. And now that he's an older brother, he's kind of feeling responsible for taking care of these other two orphans. Aww. Yeah, it's kind of like really, really, really sweet. sweet, right? And then the last one, Marcus, is saying that Father Adam told him that as long as he prays and believes in the Lord, people can live forever. And he's saying that he's hoping that his biological mom and dad believed in God so they can live forever too. So these kids obviously went through a lot and Father Adam took them in, as well as Jezebel, I guess. And it seems like they were really, really happy with Father Adam. And very cute thing right here is Amelia explains that Jonathan was actually the person that made those toys that we saw in the box. So good for him, good, very, very good for him. We also have, which I saw in the picture, but. Another toy? This or guy, which is, a super super cute owl. So that's uh, that's pretty good for Jonathan to uh, to really really stand up as like a an older brother. So that's pretty cool. There, yeah. Producer Jesse cuts in to turn on some lights because it's getting really dark. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Now, there's another toy that wasn't mentioned in the journal, but... It, it's definitely bigger than all the other toys. It's like a, uh, it's like a little person. Look at that, and it's like... It looks like a scarecrow. Yeah, kind of like a, like a scarecrow. It's got a, like, straw hair. It's burnt. It is burnt to all hell, uh, and is full of foam. It's been a rough time. Yeah, seems, seems like um, it. Guys? Yeah? Uh, we're reading through the journal here, and there might be something you guys want to come see. It's pretty big. Michelle, what's up? Where is he? Where are you? Michelle? Not in there. Is he in that room? Tell me he's not in that room. Ah! Oh, what the hell? You got me. You Woo! got me. Okay, dude, what's what's going on? Did you see anything okay. interesting? Um, yes, things are are about to get really crazy. So, I decided to read this in the spooky room where we heard the whispers. Yeah, um, kind of uh, strange. This, okay. Nice AC in here too. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is the priest, yeah, uh, or the father, and this is what he had to say about his wife who passed away. Last night, my loving wife Jezebel passed away in her sleep. She had finally succumbed to her flu. I prayed to the Lord that heaven would gain a new angel, but I knew that it was unlikely. Um, Whoa, what? Like, why? What? That's what? that's yeah. kind of like a weird thing to say after your wife like passes away, right? Yeah, that's a little odd. Well, we're about to get into why he thinks this. I had saved my wife from the faith that was truly ungodly. I introduced her to the joys of Christianity, and I truly thought that she had left her old, evil ways in okay. the past. What? But I was mistaken. Going through my wife's belongings this morning, I found a book which contained the devil's work, what? The rituals, witchcraft, and writing in the language of Lucifer was all found in this book. So like a, uh, like we're talking witchcraft. Yeah, like, witchcraft, like uh, summonings, like all kinds of like demonic stuff. paranormal stuff. Yeah, yeah, this is starting to actually like, things are starting to make sense yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on, right? Which is probably why we were hearing hearing whispers, footsteps, like this place. Which is probably why we never even heard of her in the first place. Right? right. Like, yeah, like very hurt, it. right? Yeah, exactly. If your wife is like a witch, like you don't really like want. Well, Especially like back things. then too. You don't really like, know, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also oh, not right. criminal. Yeah. Paranormal things aren't criminal. True. Right? Yeah, so true. That's probably why it wasn't in there. So, he says he attempted to burn this book. But the thought of destroying her possessions pains me greatly. I shall leave this task for another day. God help me. Okay. So, it's this like wow, that's a there's lot of there's a book. This like it's not this book. This is like the journal. But surely no, like in the in the box there's going to be like the book full of all like the yeah, rituals yeah, the and we could problem. we can literally pinpoint exactly when it went wrong and yeah. find a way to to fix it. I'm actually pretty optimistic about this. Well, there's more on the other side that I haven't read yet. So it could tell us where the location of this or he could have already burned the book. We don't know. Here, let me see. I'm just going to read through it really quick and I'll I'll summarize if there's any like good information. Yeah. All right, so I read through the pages and there's like five more pages full of crazy things and I'm not gonna read them all. I'm gonna summarize some of the weirdness that goes on here and then the last page, which is crazy, I'm gonna read out to you guys. So he's pretty much saying that he spoke to his children afterwards and to see if his wife kind of taught any of like the witchcraft stuff to them, none of the kids knew anything about it. He tries to destroy this book over and over again, and eventually a month passes, and he still can't destroy the book. Oddly enough, he's able to destroy and remove all of his wife's possessions from the property, but every time he attempts to destroy the book and burn it, he hears his wife telling him not to, which is like, and Pretty friggin' crazy. Is, like, is the book saying that? I I don't know. I I can imagine that it was said in his head, maybe. But at the same time, like, who knows how demonic this book is? Mm -hmm. So maybe it was speaking to him using his wife's Dude, voice this or book something. Book is getting real scary. And there is a Bible passage, Luke twenty two forty, and after looking it up, it says, "Pray that you will not fall into temptation." 
which is like directly related to what he was saying here. So I'm guessing all these Bible passages, like his temptation to burn the book, maybe, or I think it might be his temptation to read it because it's oh, okay. this book is like blasphemic, right? So he's trying his hardest not to read it, and I'm sure his wife, or he's hearing his wife calling to him to read it. But this is where it truly just like gets super, super weird. He explains that he finally opens the book and he can't read anything in it. It's in like, he said it's in the language of Lucifer and yeah. he just can't. And after a few weeks, he turns the page and one of the pages is in perfect English, which doesn't make any sense. Like why would there just be one page in perfect English, right? But the page is a type of ritual to speak to the dead. Wow. Okay. And he's thinking about using it to speak to Jezebel. Oh, so man. I could already see, you know, like where we're kind of going with this. It's crazy how this whole wife thing just like completely glanced over. Right? They didn't mention a wife whatsoever. It was it was irrelevant, but now it's kind of seeming like whatever happened here it was directly related to the passing. Well, maybe of just like the, the idea of like actually talking to the dead is so like ridiculous to like anyone yeah. like who doesn't watch these like types of videos. They don't know like paranormal stuff is like an actual thing. Right? Exactly. So it leads off with him talking to his wife, and that doesn't say anything about what was going on or anything. And that's, it just he doesn't. That's the last page. The the last page was him doing the ritual and. Something about him having to use like the kids in the ritual for some reason, but oh. it doesn't say anything about that. That's pretty cool, um, the journal, but I'm interested to see what you have here. So, I actually went through this a little further, and there's a couple more passages from Marcus and Jonathan. And Jonathan mentions that ever since Jezebel died, Father's been acting weird. And he actually says that he took us into a weird room and Amelia was doing something strange. And he ended up making Amelia a doll to feel better, which was the doll that we saw in the book. Okay. And Marcus also says that things are getting weird. And Amelia writes about her doll, which is right here. And she says that she's truly happy with the doll around, but the doll is apparently speaking to her at night. So, okay, we got haunted dolls now. Haunted dolls. And again, that is the last page in the book. So, okay. We kind of have an idea about what's going on, but not really sure like how the house got burnt down mm -hmm. and all that. So, there is a few things left in the box. Let's go back in there and dig them all out and hopefully we can come up with like a solid solid conclusion. All right, let's see what else we have. And this kind of popped out. Oh, and that's the demonic journal. Yeah. Oh, no, that's the Holy, holy Bible. Bible. And that is not a demonic journal. <laughs> not even close. But yeah, oh, actually, I was going to say a, a buck close, but truly just not even yeah. close. Pop. It's like really shiny. Yeah, it's, it's like gold plated. The, it's got this is a gold trim around it. Like, is it burnt at all? Kind of. There's okay. like some some burnt uh, stuff around it. I was going to say, I love how the, King the James most version. holy thing here is the only thing that's like less burnt. Like not burnt? burnt. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is less burnt, yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Another heavy. picture frame. Oh. And that would be Jezebel. Would you look wow. at that? That is creepy. And there's a picture of Amelia in the other room, but this one wasn't hung up. It's feeling kind of empty. I think we might. Oh. Is there anything else oh. in there? Oh, 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 I heard that. Right. Oh. Oh. That's loud. Oh, that's loud. Dinner's ready. <laughs> that's like really loud. Look at this, like this bell. Imagine that's how they summon the. One weapons. of the things <laughs> that was said. Is a bell ringing. People could hear a bell ringing at night sometimes. Oh so, God. you know what? That's a good idea. Let's keep track of this and make sure we know where it is at all times. In case we hear a bell, Ooh. we could see if it's coming from this and something's ringing it or something's ringing something another bell. And I didn't feel anything else in there, but. Put my hand in. 
<laughs> oh, there's something. Oh yeah, it feels like a like a a disc or something. Something I was really flat. Say CD. Can you grab that? A disc. And oh, oh, what oh things dude, are interesting. this oh, is a record. Down. That's why we have the record player. Literally, I was pointing at it. Okay, wait. Hopefully it could play with the Well, what does it say? There's like a, I'm gonna a, a letter. Let's clean it, off. it says, these two records were officially dismissed as evidence. No conclusion could be made as to how the events on this record relate to the death of all four victims. Okay. But it said two records. Is there... Do you feel another, another one? one? I only literally only found one. I think we're all out of. Yeah, this is everything that's in the box. So we're Dude. Okay, let's go and clean this off and just like pop it right in the record player and see what's on it, okay? Okay. All right, we got the record and I'm super excited to see what's on this. Hopefully we get some like answered questions. Yeah. Or it's gonna be some solid music. Oh, if it's yeah, just some music, tunes? I, yes. low key, I wouldn't even be mad about that, dude. Some like music from the 70s, some disco tracks. Nice. Okay, so. Uh, father's favorite disc. So Elvis Presley is what I'm expecting. Hit it. Elvis Dream. Presley, let's see. Oh my God, this is so complicated. And then there should be like a button. Um, power? I think power. I don't know if they had buttons back then, bro. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Ready. And this should be the beginning. Oh. Something's playing. Okay. Okay. The ritual is in place. Okay. So what? it's one of the rituals. No. no. How are you feeling, Amelia? Um, I'm feeling good. I think I'm ready, Father. Oh right? So this is probably like the ritual to speak to Jezebel. <gasps> the, bell. the bell. Jezebel. Wait, that's the same. Yeah, the same right there. What the heck? Wait. Oh my gosh. Is that a mom? Is that a Was that? Mom. That didn't sound like a mom. Who was that? Shh. I'll make you not fear, children. It's your mother. She's, she's here using Amelia as a vessel to speak to us. Amelia? What? What's happening? Wait. What's going on? This doesn't seem right. So... I'm so sorry, Jezebel. I just wanted to say this is crazy. Goodbye. One last time. Forever. No! Please! Don't leave me! I'm sorry, Jezebel. Goodbye, my love. What? Oh, that is crazy. My God. Wait, is that? What? Yo, Are we? I think that's. Can we like pause it for a second? Yeah, hold up. Let's. Okay, so there was the ritual that it was. Ex he was explaining in the book. Huh. Essentially, there's this 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 demonic book okay. that Father Adam had that it was in Jezebel's possessions, and he was looking through it, looking through it, looking through it, and he couldn't read anything until one page of the book was just randomly in English. And it was a page about a ritual to how to speak to the dead. And from what I can understand, mm -hmm. he used Amelia as, a, as like a vessel to communicate with Jezebel. Because he's been wanting to talk to her. That's absolutely yeah. insane. And obviously it sounded, from the record, it sounded like it actually worked, like we were able yeah, to hear the mind. Right? That's true. Guys, guys, look at this. What? what? There's something on the camera. What? Wait. Oh. wait. There, there was just something in the hallway. What? In the There's nothing there. That hallway? Dude, there Wait, was just there? this hallway yeah, right yeah, here. There's right there. Go, go check it out. There's. It's this hallway here, right, Mike? You see us? See what? Okay, yeah, go back and check the footage. I want to see what. what okay. It's not there. What's going on? It was just. See, do you have it loaded? Yeah, yeah look. There's like some sort of. Figure. I don't even know what it is. You're right. It's like, it's really glitchy. So you, but there's definitely something right there. Yeah, it's like a hooded. Are you figure? talking about the hallway next to us? Okay, and switch cameras. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wh I don't get what this. That's literally going up the stairs. Did we? Did anybody oh, hear anything? I didn't hear a single thing. It must have been when we were looking in there, right? Like, 
I have no idea. It has to be like. So you're saying it was literally right there while we were in the room? It might have been something that only like our security cameras were able to pick up, right? It's like a, like invisible. Jesus. Possibly. Like we didn't see anything. Was and look, I didn't see one upstairs. Either. Yeah. Wait. Switch cameras, and he's upstairs. Let's go check. Dude. Let's go yeah, check. Dude. Let's go. It literally just vanished right it here. That it vanished? Yeah. Like in vanished. thin air. It's that room. Shh. This room. Oh, what is that? Yo, the, the bell, bells. The bell. The bells. Go back downstairs. Go back. Go back. Go back. Hello. Hello? Who's here? Hello. Where, where did that come it was. From? It was. It was out here. It, it was literally just you put it on the on the speaker, no? Yeah. Where's the bell? It's gone. Oh, yeah. Put it right. Here. Yeah. Put it right here. Well, where is it? I don't know. How's it going on? Wait, wait. Oh my god. That's that room. Someone. Is it coming from the room? Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's coming from the room. Yo. Okay, we're opening this door. Did you know what? Let's go. Yeah, we're opening the door. Open it. Yeah, what? open it up. Open it. <laughs> I can't. What? What's your help? I can't open it. <clears throat> what do you mean? You can't open it. I'm literally. Push it. Just push. Oh, it's. You guys not like. Push not it? Open it. Go home <sighs> or something. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Whoa, wait. Michelle? No. Yo, that's Michelle. Michelle? The camera, bro. Dude, did Michelle. he just faint? Michelle, Michelle, wake up! Michelle! 